Welcome to chapter 20, part one. Chapter 20 is a very difficult chapter because it's a very long chapter. We get into a lot of different things. So we're going to start with our flow rate and our dosage rate. The flow rate is the volume over time and basically is asking how fast is that IV running into the patient. Whereas the dosage rate is your drug over time. Kind of like saying two Tylenols every six hours. Um, so our first question is saying the order is 300 milligrams IV piggyback every six hours. It's 50 milliliters, which this 300 milligrams is in. Normal saline, which right now doesn't pertain to our problem. Infuse in 20 minutes. So we're going to find our milliliters per minute. So we have 50 milliliters and that has the 300 milligrams in it and we're going to infuse that over 20 minutes. When we do that division, 50 divided by 20, well let's see, we can cancel out the zeros. 5 divided by 2 is 2 and a half or 2 and 5 tenths milliliters per minute. When we get to ex here, they want milligrams per minute. So in milligrams per minute, we have 300 milligrams running in the same 20 minutes. Cancel out my zeros and now I have 30 divided by 2 which gives me 50 milligrams per minute. In example two, we have one gram every six hours over 30 minutes. So if we have one gram in 30 minutes, Oh, I wrote three minutes. One way I could do that is 60 minutes, which is my conversion factor. Over an hour, my minutes cancel. I'm left with grams per hour. So 30 goes into 30 once, 30 goes into 60 twice. So two times one gives me two grams per hour. And that should make sense because if you're giving one gram in 30 minutes, you double 30 minutes, you have an hour. You'd have to double the one gram. Now we're also asking for milligrams per minute. To do this, I'm going to change my 1 gram to 1,000 milligrams in 30 minutes. And that I just divide because now I have milligrams per minute. So I'm going to take my 1,000 milligrams divided by my 30 minutes and I get 33 and a third and it depends upon where or how they want you to round milligrams per minute. <clears throat> In example three we're looking at heparin and we're doing IV dosage rates to flow rates. So now we have 1,250 units per hour in an IV. That's what we want. Um, our heparin bag comes in 500 milliliters and has 25,000 units in it. We need to calculate our infusion rate in mLs per hour. So I'm going to start with my order, 12,050 or 1,250 units. Per hour times that by what 
my strength is, which is 25,000 units. And I put the units in the denominator so my units cancel. And in my numerator, I'm going to put my 500 milliliter bag. My units cancel out, and I'm left with mLs per hour, which is what the question is telling us we want. So now it's just a matter of multiplying and dividing. I'm just going to take my calculator and do 1250 times 500 divided by 25,000. And I get 25. And that's milliliters per hour. My next question is another heparin question. So we're ordered at 12,000 units. The medication order states that 12,000 units of heparin are to be added to 250 mLs of 5% D5 and W. We don't care about the 5% D5 and W right now. That's just going to tell you which solution that it's in. The patient is to receive 1,200 units. There we go. 1,200 units per hour. So our IV of 250 mLs has 12,000 units in it. There we go. So our units cancel. We have mLs per hour. So again, when I run that through my calculator, I have 1,200 times 250 divided by 12,000, and I get 25. So here, the prescriber ordered 250 milliliters, 5% D5 and W, which we don't care right now, 250 milliliters with 25,000 units of heparin infused at 1,500 units per hour. So our 25,000 units are in 250 milliliters. We want mLs per hour. Our units cancel. I have mLs per hour, so my setup is correct. When I do the multiplication and the division, I get 15 milliliters per hour. And in example four, it says the prescriber writes an order for 1,000 milliliters, 5% D5 and W. Again, I don't care about that. It has 10 units of Pitocin in it. So I start off with 1,000 milliliters with 10 units of Pitocin. Your patient must receive must receive three milliunits. So now I have units, so I have to change my milliunits to units. So remember when we had milli going to units, we're going this way, and that's the way our decimal is moving three places. So I have three, so I'm moving it one, two, three. So three 
milliunits is 0 0.003 units per minute. And they talk about a micro drop. Remember our micro drop setup is always 60 micro drops per ml. So now calculate the flow rate in micro drops per minute. So I have units, units, mls, mls, and I have micro drops per minute. Yay! So now when I do my multiplication, I'm going to cross out this zero with this zero. So now I'm going to take my 1000 times 0 0.003 times 6 and I get 18 and I didn't have to divide anything in the bottom because I have 1, 1, and 1 so this is 18 micro drops per minute and I will continue that next page on part 2